You know, I don't want anybody to get injured, but I don't mind putting a hurting on somebody. Washington Redskins defensive end Kendrick Golston loves to bring down ball carriers as they try to fight their way through the defensive line. Last season, he helped the Skins capture the NFC East title. Looking back, he says that there's no doubt that without God, he wouldn't even be able to play football. I got in a real bad car accident my senior year of high school, uh, flipped my truck five times, got thrown out the truck, broke my leg, um, you know, ended up getting a staph infection in my lungs. So at that moment in time, there kind of was a, you know, if God didn't want me to play football, he could have took it away right then and there. For an All-American with a bright future, the accident put everything in question. He immediately went into rehab, and he says with God's grace, he was still offered a scholarship. And so he allowed me to start as a true freshman at the University of Georgia, you know, six, seven months after breaking my femur, having, you know, a rod and two screws put in my leg. But when he got to college, football became his focus, and his faith took a back seat. And I tell people all the time, I got to college and just lost my mind. You know, I, uh, you know, thought I was a Christian because I said the prayer, um, said I was a Christian, uh, you know, knew Jesus, but wasn't serving him wholeheartedly. So I felt as long as I went to church on Sunday and said my prayers that I'd be just fine. You know, I knew mama was at home praying for me. So I thought that that was all that mattered. During the 2002 season, Kedrick helped the Bulldogs win their first SEC championship in 20 years. Life was good. But the next three seasons, he was plagued by injuries, which put his football future in question once again. That's when he realized he needed to make some adjustments. And just really got tired of playing, the, you know, one step forward and five steps back and just, you know, kind of using God as a good luck charm and not really allowing him to be the head of my life and the Lord and Savior that he is. So one day after study hall, Kedrick decided it was time to have a talk with the Lord. Of course, the end of my senior year, um, don't know where the NFL is going to take me, kind of in that limbo where, you know, I know, I'm, I know I got to leave school. I just don't know where I'm going. That day, I just decided to, to, to walk back to the dorms, and I just started talking to God out loud, just saying, God, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just, you know, pray and ask that you'll be with me. The next week, Kedrick got an answer. We played the University of Kentucky that Saturday, and I'm playing against this offensive line, and I'm, you know, saying things to him I shouldn't say, and just, you know, being wild. And after the game, he comes to me and says, I got a word for you, that just, you know, trust in the Lord, and, and he's gonna, you know, do everything that, you know, you want, you, that you wanna be done, and just trust in him and serve him with your whole heart. And it just, you know, it just burned in my soul. Soon after, Kedrick was selected in the sixth round of the 2006 NFL Draft by the Washington Redskins. As soon as he got there, he met Pastor Brett Fuller. I tell you, Pastor Brett, he's been here as long as Daryl yeah. Green has been here. Yeah. And you talk about a man with a servant's heart who cares about men and about seeing people grow to be what they need to be for God is just phenomenal. And so Pastor Brett just did a great job of uh, just, you know, leading me and not, not pacifying me. And so for the first time in my life, I was able to see why, you know, God has these rules for us, see the life that he's promised us, see, you know, what sin does in our lives and see it for myself, not hear it from other people. So it just, you know, ever since then, I've just been full out, just trying to serve him the best way I know how, living every day to honor him and um, glorify his name. When you made that decision, what changed? everything. I've done it my way. I've tried to be successful my way. You know, I've tried to work as hard. I've always been a hard worker, somebody that did everything right. and Things never really worked out the way that I thought they should. And um, so I just got tired of fighting that fight and realized that, you know, God has called, you know, I can place my burdens on him. And uh, all I really need to do is uh, serve him and, and glorify him because that's what I was created to do. The Redskins had a rough start this season. And with the defense at the bottom of the rankings, the pressure is on. But Kedrick says it's during times like these that he worships the Lord even more, because ultimately, that's what life is really about. He's my Lord and my Savior. I kind of all enjoy that, you know, he came into this world as a man, 
dealt with all the things I dealt with and, and died on the cross for my sins. So I'm going to serve him because he's my savior. He's my Lord. He's the head of my life. I'm going to honor him with all that I do. He loves us more than anything. He wants us to have that relationship with him so that we can be in heaven with him. You know, in this world, you know, things are going to happen in this world that are going to be hard. Every day is not going to be a cakewalk. But trust in him and know that the battle is already won. You know, every situation is different, but it's always a fork in the road. You can choose the world's way or you can choose God's way.